What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, I'm uh, back in the building. Back to give you guys uh, another uh, another featurette here. And today, I'm going to say stuff that you're not really going to like some of you. Some of you are going to be like, hey, man, you keep it 100 with me. You cool, homie, so... That's how we're going to do it. Today, we'll talk about how black people hate hearing the truth. Yes, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about how black people overall, now I'm not going to get talk about specific people, but overall black people hate hearing the truth. Now, if this doesn't apply, let it fly. And this is like a majority of black people because... Unfortunately, a majority of y'all are still thinking circular instead of thinking linear. And maybe I'll do another topic on thinking. Because a lot of you, a lot of, I hate to say this, when you go to, just go to a Facebook group, a lot of these people, and especially like a lot of people on YouTube, they don't have critical thinking. They barely have cognitive thinking. So they, I mean, they have no critical thinking whatsoever. Like you'll say something, say you'll say on. Um, Say, let's say it's, the sky is blue, and the sky is blue. Somebody will come out and say, well, it wasn't like that yesterday. This is the type of, this is the type of people we got to deal with. And, like, I hate to hit, I'm like, what does yesterday have to do with what I'm talking about right now, the facts right now, at hand? But uh, this is the type of stuff you have to deal with in the black community. And I know you got to deal with this overall in every race, every population. But I'm not talking about every race and every population. I'm talking about the black community. Like, the black community don't want to hear facts on uh, black-on-black violence, uh, the stats about how young black men are going to prison still at an enormous rate, how the one most of the guys in prison are coming from single mothers, uh, how feminism ruined the single... Bl- Made, uh, laid the groundwork for the ruining of the black family, how LBJ and the Democrats are still treating you guys like slaves, how the Republican Party, hate to say this, out of if you had to pick one, the Republican Party is the best party for you because the Republican Party makes you do stuff on your own. How, how black people are the majority on welfare, they kill me with this. Well, white people, there's more white people on welfare than there are black people. Let me let me let this sink in, fuckheads. And I hate to hate cops like this, but what do you? Th- that'd, that'd be like going over to uh, Nigeria, where they got like I think 180 million people. That's like, and like white people don't even probably make. I'll say white people make up 10 to that 10 million. I'll say white people make up 10 million out of 180 million. That'd be like go over there if all 10 million people were on welfare that were white in Nigeria. And the white people try to tell you, well, there's more black people on welfare. If you look at per capita, that would mean if there's all 10 million people on welfare in Nigeria, that's 100% of people on welfare. I bet the the number would be different for the black people in Nigeria. But you can't reason with black people like this because, again, they think circular. They don't think linear. They don't have cognitive thinking. They tell you they do, but they don't. They don't have critical thinking. They have deflections, name calling. Uh, they talk. They, they, they give you. They give you. They give you points that like common sense. That then they make it look like it's like like you know. They make it like it's quantum physics. You know. They they, they tell you points. I mean, like like say you want. Okay, say um. So, okay, say black on black crime. Say like black on black crime is the highest it's ever been. Then they'll try to say, well, there's a such thing as white on white crime. And you're looking at them like, what the fuck are you doing? And, and like, like they, they tell you this like with their chest poked out, like they just discovered, you know, another planet or something. But in reality, it's like, it's common sense. See, a lot of black people don't understand, the hell, they don't understand the use of the word you in third person. You see this a lot on, like, I know Fox News does this a lot, but, and I pointed this out, and I always point this out to people. When they say about you, third person, they don't mean specifically you. You gotta understand the context they're talking in. Like, say you're the, you're the protest. Like, you know when they interview protesters, 
they'll ask you, have any of you been shot at? And then mostly, if you get a black person on there, I haven't been shot at. I'm thinking to myself, are you listening to the conversation, or what, what, what's your problem? When they mean you third person, they're talking about you in general. Like, you and everybody else that's over there. Like, have you and your friends, or you and your compadres, or you and your associates, have they been shot? Not just you. Because you're not the story. The whole march is the story. But back to the lecture at hand. You could tell black people, like, 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 homosexuality. It's not natural. Black people support it. And then what kills me is the black church supported that shit. And, like, and, like, and what kills me is the black church, look, they support illegitimate kids. Look, we're all guilty of, some of us are more guilty of it than others. Hey, it comes, hey, it happens. I understand having one or two as maybe, hey, you know, you didn't learn your lesson. But if you got enough to if you got enough to pull a starting five on a hoop squad, there's a problem. Because the proper way is that and then people say, Well some of us aren't aren't uh, don't believe in marriage. That's your point to have multiple kids with multiple guys? You don't believe in multiple marriage you don't believe in, you don't believe in marriage, but you believe in being a whore? Alright. You got it. Or you got the ones who say they had an accident. Like I said, the one I can understand. Like okay, your first kid, your second kid. All right, you young, you didn't learn. But like I said, when it keeps happening over and over to the same deadbeat guy, like a lot of these chicks will tell you, well, I have well, my 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 baby's kids. Their dads are all deadbeats. I'm like, the dude just didn't happen to be a deadbeat. The dude always has been a deadbeat. He just had that dick for you. When he stopped serving it up for you, all of a sudden he became a deadbeat. You know what I, I tell chicks this all the time. You know what I, they talk about how their, their dad's a deadbeat, or not their dad, their baby's father's a deadbeat. I tell them, you know what that sounds to me? Sounds like to me like you let a little bum shoot off in you. So if you let a little bum shoot in you, that makes you a bum too. No matter how much you talk crazy, you if you if you got kids to bums. You let bums fuck you. And I don't mess with bum chicks. And they don't want to hear it like this. Like I said, they, they barely have cognitive thinking. There's no such thing as critical thinking. And common sense is quantum physics in the black community. Everybody knows about them, you know. And the other thing is you're not allowed, like I said, you're not allowed to talk about homosexuality. Well, maybe everybody's not like you. That's another quantum physics for, like, for 2000, Alex. I mean, it, it's just like... They, they want to deflect. There's no such thing as that. When it, like, certain people can you can talk to in the black community, but you can't have a, a big discussion without somebody taking it back to white people, or you know, or maybe getting, maybe not everybody is like that. Yeah. Look, man, if you're not built with morals and principles, what good are you? And then you got these, and then like, and, 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 and like now you got these men. There's a lot of older men that do this shit, too. And I, I never knew this until I started, started watching YouTube. There's a lot of older men who never had a dad in their life. Because you want to know why? They all, they're all crying about they want attention. No, Everybody knows who they are. Like, who, who, who does this? What grown man does this? What grown man walks around saying, people know who I am? And I'm like, if you have to tell people that they know who you are, there's a, there's a 99.9999999999 infinity nines. That nobody knows who you are. Sure, there's that, that, that zero, there's that zero, zero's one chance that somebody knows you. That's probably your relatives. And why are you worried about what somebody else, you know, knows you or not? Be comfortable amongst yourself. Like, there's all these whiners. Like, you got guys defending feminism. And I'm like, they're saying, well, the reason the feminists came is because the black women dominated over the man and treated the man well. No, well, no offense, fuck guy. No offense, smart guy. Why, why, why are you gonna say the black man dominated over the black woman when the government dominated over everybody? It wasn't the black man that treated the black woman bad. It was the government that treated everybody bad. So why would you go against a person who's getting treated just as bad as you are? I mean, they're like now we got these guys and they're cuckolds, cucks as we call them. Basically, they're Cape Crusaders for women who do 
who like women can do no wrong in their eyes, you know. She could have fucking fifty kids to fifty dot fifty different dudes or she just had bad days. Alright, put your cape back on. And they they, they, they hold they'll hold no accountability. Like I, there's there's women out there that you can have a discussion with. It's same with the men, but it's not a majority. It's the minority. Like I said in a previous video, the nigga mentality has taken over. Now it's the it's the era of the crack babies, and it's gonna get worse. You know you, you know why? why? Cause like there's so much to speak out, but there's a lot of us, and I can understand. A lot of us just want to like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, and I'm moving somewhere else, and I'm living my life, and let them all go to hell. That's what a lot of black a lot of black people are saying. I talk to people of different races and different money groups and whatever, and this is what they're saying. Like, especially, like, like black people are like, look, man, just let me do me. And you want to know why they say that? Because, like, now there's, now, now this was getting real funny. I made a video a couple years ago about how, like, you know when Dr. Dre sent money to USC and Jay-Z sent money here and there and all that? Black people were honestly saying, well, why don't they build up the hoods and build up black colleges? Number one, black colleges are built by the government. And number one, number two... Why are you going to put money in a losing... Why are you going to invest money in a losing venture? If Jay-Z puts money in the Bedford-Stuyvesant... Well, now the Bedford-Stuyvesant is getting gentrified. I can see that. But why would he put money in the Brownsville East... If I would do that, it'd be a library. It'd be something positive for the kids. It wouldn't be for the goddamn adults. Because y'all ain't doing shit. If, why, should, why, should, why should Dr. Dre put a, put a brand new so-and-so in, like, South Central? And, like, JC put something in, like, Crown Heights for it to get fucked up. I know where I know where these places are, people. Now, if JC put something, like, maybe in Long Island, or maybe in Westchester, or maybe in Outer Jersey, like, you know, like, maybe in Piscataway, hey, it's going to stay, stay, it's going to stay open, it's going to stay fresh. Maybe if Dr. Dre went a little further out, into maybe to Santa Barbara, or maybe a little further north to Modesto or something. If he goes south, he's going to Mexico. That's going to be a problem. But maybe he does all that. Or maybe he goes west, maybe like, I mean, east of Nevada. He can have his shit and it'll be stay clean. But if I was Dr. J and Jay-Z, I don't give a fuck about what none of y'all say. I earned the money. I'm spending it my way. You're lucky I'm donating the shit. I don't have to donate it. And this is what black people understand. You want to, you want to, why are you looking at my fucking pockets? Most of the people that look at your pockets don't have nothing in theirs. They don't have nothing but a dick in the dream. And right now, they ain't getting no pussy either. That's, that's what they're dreaming about, because they sure as fucking dreaming about money. And that's the problem with these broke motherfuckers in our community. They want to tell you how to spend your money, or, or, or the latest. Everything has a, everything was made by slave owners. Duh! I mean, I mean, look. And what kills me is, a lot of you broke motherfuckers that tell me this, you drive around in Honda Civics and Honda Accords, Trust me, the Japanese ain't too fucking fond of you either. They make jokes all the time about black people, but you're still driving around them according to civics. See, it's, it's it's like it's okay for them to do it because you don't you they don't they don't expect much out of themselves. That's the problem in the black community. The black community, people who don't expect much out of themselves, hold yourselves to a lesser standard than they want to hold you and other people. That's that's point blank. Period. They know that they're going. That's about as far as they can go in life. So they want to hold you high, like, well, why don't you, why don't you give us jobs? Look, McDonald's is giving you jobs, and I don't want to work for them. But why don't I want to give you a job? I ain't going to give you a job for, for poor fucking service. I'm not saying everybody gets poor service, but I'm saying facts are facts. If you have to say, give me a job, you ain't looking for a job, because there's jobs out there right now. Oh, I ain't starting there at McDonald's, I ain't starting at, like, the bottom. Well, Mr. Fucking CEO, go, go to fucking Saks or somebody. And this is, the, like I said, the problem is most black people think circular. They don't think linear. They barely have cognitive thinking. There's no such thing as critical thinking in the black community. Although they'll tell you they haven't. But like I said, go to these Facebook forums, watch these YouTube videos, and you'll see it, it's, it's not but deflection, name calling, uh... Like I said, common sense is the new quantum physics in the black community. If you want something out of life, you're a coon. If you mind your business, you're a coon. 
If you make more scratch in them, you're a coon. And if you're broke with no ambition, and all you want to do is drink mo Monday through Friday, and drink even more on Saturday and Sunday, you're the what's 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 to be expected of. But overall, black people do not like hearing the truth. And whether you like it or not, that's a fact. I'm out. Peace.